Welcome to Inside Carbondale. This is the podcast that brings you the latest information about projects and events going on in Carbondale. I'm Amy Fox, the public relations officer for the city of Carbondale. I'm joined by Tammy Sanders, the office manager for SIU's Army ROTC program. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Amy. And we are just a few days away from Veterans Day, which is November 11th. In 1918, it was a day uh, World War I officially ended. And since then, Veterans Day has become a day where many take time to thank veterans, both near and far, for their service to our country. And, of course, Carbondale is no exception. Tammy, how does SIU's Army ROTC plan to commemorate this historic day in Carbondale? We are hosting a joint Veterans Day ceremony on Friday, November 10th at 11 o'clock at the Veterans Memorial Park in Carbondale. Um, We are working with Air Force ROTC and the VFW Post 2605, and there is also a silent vigil that takes place 24 hours before the ceremony. Uh, The Army and Air Force cadets will stand watch at the flagpole that is located at the circle of the intersection just south of Woody Hall. And of course, everyone lives a very busy life, but why is it so important for people to just take a few moments to attend this Veterans Day service like the one in Carbondale? Um, I feel it's important to take time to honor the men and women who have served our country so that we can enjoy our freedom every day. They deserve the respect and appreciation, and taking time to honor their service is the least that we can do. If someone has never been to Carbondale's Veterans Day service, what can they expect to see and hear? This is a very special time. Okay, Um, you're going to be seeing a lot going on. Um, You can expect to see many veterans, SIU administration, faculty, staff, students, and members of Carbondale and the surrounding communities. Um, This year's opening and closing remarks will be delivered by SIU President Randy Dunn, and this year's keynote speaker is SIU Chancellor Carlo Montemagno. He's also a Navy veteran, and we're going to have a presentation of the colors as well as a 21-gun salute. Why is this experience so special to you? Um, I just really enjoy planning events and getting people together, especially when I have the opportunity of working with many different people throughout the campus and community. When you plan something like this, there's a lot of moving parts, and it's just very rewarding to see your efforts come together and hopefully go off without a hitch. It's nice to create solidarity. And what do you hope the reaction is from the entire community? Well, I hope to see a positive response and one of unity. I hope that every seat is filled. I hope everyone takes advantage of this opportunity to come together as a community and come out and honor our veterans. And once again, let's recap some of that important information. This is all going on on Friday, November the 10th. Um, The ceremony begins at 11 a.m. at uh, Veterans Memorial Plaza. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, once again, why is it so important for people to come out, um, to get people in the community involved. Just to come together as a day of unity, just to come out and honor those special men and women who have served in the past, the ones that are currently serving. Great. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Maybe I forgot to ask you. Well, this weather has been super crazy. So if it does rain, there is going to be uh, at the pavilion over here at the town square. If it does rain, we'll help, We'll hold the ceremony there. So rain or shine, yes. the ceremony will still go on. Yes, it will. Come on out. Thanks so much for joining me, Tammy. Thank you for having me. And we hope all of you will join us next time for another episode of Inside Carbondale. Have a great day. If you have feedback or have ideas for future podcasts, feel free to email me at afox at explorecarbondale.com.